Good afternoon, everybody. This is your boy, the Drunken Sailor. Thank you for tuning in to another video here. And today we're going to go over, as we know, May 31st is the deadline. If the U.S., the Senate, and the President, and the Democrats don't reach a deal, hey, we can default on our loans um, and debt, and we could be in serious trouble as a nation. At the same time, President Biden, you know, he ended a trip in Asia. Um, four days early to return to D.C. today to meet with Kevin McCarthy, the leaders of the Republicans of the House, to try to work a deal out before the deadline of May 31st, which is in hey, less than 10 days. 10 days will be the first time the U.S. will default on this debt and causing a spiral of issues that we will have and face in this nation that we are already facing inflation and other financial issues but if they default and not come to agreement hey we will be in serious tr serious trouble maybe we need it the democrats want to just keep raising the debt limit keep raising it spend money spend money cut ten money spend money print it out print it out print it out just keep raising the debt just keep raising the debt the Republicans are no, we gotta cut some some spending here. We gotta cut something or reduce something here. We just can't keep borrowing the money we don't have to our kids, 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 kids keep keep raising the debt limit. So somebody gotta some gotta give because the House Republicans already passed the bill for the debt. For, already passed the bill. So so the, the president Joe Biden keep on talking about MAGA pugments, the Republicans and stuff. Okay, but the House passed the bill already. So where's the Senate at? Why have the Senate, mostly controlled by the Democrats, kind of offered the bill that was passed by the House? Where is their planning bill at? Where's the Senate bill? <clears throat> Would the Senate be like, hey, we don't agree to this. This is our, this is our kind of offer. We haven't heard nothing from the Senate coming up with any plans or any solution or any kind of offers, really, to what the House the House already passed. So, same time, end of the day, who are we blaming here? <clears throat> Joe Biden keeps talking about all the public, oh, MAGA Republicans, they're trying to hold us up, they're trying to have those default. But the House already passed the bill going over the debt limit and stuff like that, and what the cut and stuff like that. So, where's Joe, so Joe Biden, where's your Democrats of the Senate, Coming out with a bill or kind of offer their own bill, it'd be like for the for, we kind of offer the Republicans. So same time, we play peculiar games there with people' livelihood here. It's bullshit on both sides. But I'm gonna go to the article here from the Daily Mail. What could happen if the U.S. default on this debt? <clears throat> what really could happen? Like I said. I'm a disabled veteran, veteran programs like that. Military can get paid. A lot of delays, a lot of a lot of things, jobs, work for the federal government, we could lose jobs on home, not get paid. A lot of things can happen if we default on our on our debt. Which end of the day, I won't I might actually look forward to it. The way the administrator going, made this shit going, might be an actual good thing. Sad to say, hate to say it, but we may have to default. And I hope the Republicans grow some balls, keep a stand. You'd be like, no, this is what this is our line. We're gonna stand behind this line. We're not going any further. We're not agreeing to nothing. Either meet us here or it's close in the middle or no deal. Have some balls, Republicans, once in your entire political careers. I know Kevin McCarthy, he's spying this little bitch, but can you have show me a man once in your career, man? And did I nope? This is this is the line. This is what we this is what we want. We're not going over this. We're not defaulting on this. We're not caving into it. Please. So we all know President Joe Biden have less than two weeks to stop the country defaulting on his debt for the first time in history, which will prompt financial chaos for millions of Americans. Of course, see, when they play political games, the hardworking Americans. Every day Americans pay the price because they're playing bullshit games, which pisses me off more than anything. You go in the back and forth, back and forth, playing game, pointing fingers and shit, instead of rolling your sleeves up, working together, at least meeting in the middle. When the last time we had Republicans and Democrats, I don't care what side you're on, actually come down and had a real deal 
a plan and goal to be in the middle and come up something that b- benefits Americans. Not having executive orders, not doing some backward deal. Because Joe Biden seemed like he don't even need, need Congress. He signed executive deal orders left and right and doing whatever he, he wants, even though the president he does have major limits. Have major limits, but he's doing whatever he can do to base his shit on the Constitution and the Constitutional Republic like we are. It's bullshit. You're in politics to work for pe- the people. You work for the people, not your own interests. Get that straight. Oh, Monday afternoon, he will meet with Kevin McCarthy at the White House to try and carve out a deal to prevent what could be a counterfactual economic situation. Of course. And he keep meeting with Kevin McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy, like, the White House not even being reasonable. So, same time, Kevin McCarthy, you saying they're not being reasonable? They're not even trying to see you close to the middle? Don't even have them meetings. Unless we have, unless you meet me here or kind of have, we could have a conversation starting here. I'm not even going to meet with you. I passed the bill. Hey, talk to the Senate. Talk to the Senate. Have them work out a deal. Then bring it back to us. If it's close to what we want, hey, we'll push it to your desk. Otherwise, we passed the bill already in the House. We're not doing no more. The Senate, Senate, Senators, do your damn job. Do your job. Connor, whatever the case, bring it back to us. We'll vote on it. And we'll talk it over. We'll meet you in the middle, or whatever. Hey, we'll, we'll give your bill to Joe Biden's desk. But same time, nothing. Nothing nobody working on a deal. So what was the Senate deal? What bill did they pass to be like, hey, this is, this is, this I haven't seen or heard anything about it. Have you? I bet you haven't. The U.S. hits a $31.4 trillion debt ceiling in January. And since then, the Treasury had used it, what it described as a screen, as scrolling measures to keep it ballot book afloat. The treasury is full of shit too, but we can send money to Ukraine and all the other crap that we're spending too. But yet, we're going to default around a cash by June 1st. The hell out of here. Treasury Secretary Janet Yannon had warned that the government may not have be able to pay all the bills on time as soon as June 1st. Sad it could be. While Biden is planning to raise the debt ceiling, McCarthy has insisted the bill would not pass through Congress. Of course, and Joe Biden said he probably used, you'll use an executive orders. He probably have to raise the debt limit if they can't come to agreement. He'll do anything he can, executive order of articles of the Constitution, he possibly can to bypass Congress like he's been doing his whole presidency and be like, hey, I'm going to do this. Hey, y'all figure it out in court. By the time we fair out of court, hey, I done got what I wanted out of it. He already know he's not gonna be impeached. He's not gonna be removed from office, which he should be. It should be locked up. His whole family should be locked up. But hey, that's another that's another video. But the sad thing about it, we get re impeached and get rid of Joe Biden. Come to Harris, she might actually be worse, which is sad to say. Vice President Harris, she might be actually 100 times worse than Joe Biden. That's saying a lot. That's saying a lot. The most scary than anything. 2024 can't get him soon enough, but knowing these fools here, knowing these people in power, I've predicted it, and I'm going to say it go. We won't make it to 2024. Even if we do, watch. Something will happen when they will spin elections because of the war or something crazy happened. They'll try to keep power as much as possible. We might not go back to Trump. Hope you'll realize that something... If we make it as a country to 2024, something probably will happen where they will have to spin or do something crazy why we won't be able to have an election in 2024. Watch what I'm saying. If we make it, we don't destroy, destroy the country first before 2024, but watch. Something's going to go down if we're still somewhat of a country or nation by then why we won't have elections or why they're trying to hold on or spin it. Watch what I'm saying. Also, in the article, let's go over what's the next, what will happen next. Since the debt limit was reached, the Treasury Department said it had been forced to rely on extremely measures to keep up with its obligations. 
so sad. Shirts measured the coup, putting them back on some government investment to keep bills getting paid. But authorities are close to exhausting all other means. It can run out of cash on what is known as the X date. This could be as soon as June 1st, which is just over a week away. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do our memorial day. Next thing you know, oh, yeah, bills, we ain't getting money. Oh, yeah. Woo, it's about to be something. The government can choose to lift or spend the limit, which is currently Biden's plan. The debt ceiling used to be raised regularly, regularly, but it has been increasingly potential issues. They keep raising it. They've been raising it for years. Every president, I don't care who it is, they keep raising the debt limit ceiling any chance they get. So there's nothing new. If Congress fails to agree, the country will officially run out of cash and be unable to pay it it bills. For the first time in history. How will this default affect households? So how can we affect the everyday Americans working hard, trying to keep up with inflation, trying to keep food on the table, and pay big bills when the prices of gas, everything, rent, everything going on, just trying to stay above water? How will it affect you? Let's see. Social Security payments could stop overnight if the country default on its debt. So if you get into receiving Social Security, which you should be, work hard for it, you cannot, you may have a delay on your payments and not get them at all. You paying attention now? Around 66 American retirees, disabled, work, disabled workers, and others receiving monthly benefits, which total 1827 a month on average. About two thirds of beneficiaries rely on Social Security for at least half of their income. So people that disable retirees, almost two thirds of them, half of their half of their income rely on Social Security benefits. So if that get suspended, stopped, or delayed for a long time, how are they going to make it? Put food on the table, maintain the little bills, health care, and stuff. How will they make it? See, politics playing fucking games with people's livelihood. It's fucking sad. Roughly twenty five billion sent out each week. Go to the Congressional Budget Office. Twenty-five billion sent out each week for these benefits. Retirees, disabled, most of them living, living a fixed income, barely making it. So if they don't get this. This money come delayed or come late. Oh man, this make me sick to my stomach. What about two million federal civilians working and one point four million active duty members? could see their paycheck get delayed i work for the federal government so i so i understand we can get delayed end of the day maybe i want that maybe something i wish i i, I would like to see but affecting the retirees disabled people that need it people truly do need their money from the government program will suffer the most people that truly need it and it's gonna be a sad sad day because Politics on both sides are playing fucking games with people like yours. Sad to say. Sad to say. In a real term, that which would wipe out 12 trillion in household wealth, according to the analysts. And a default could trigger a rise in yield on U.S. treasuries to account to increase risk. Treasury yield generally set the benchmark for interest rate loans, credit cards, and mortgages, which may Repayment rates on all of the loans could see yet a future hike. <sighs> Boy. Finally, a debt default could trigger an equilibrium meltdown. Oh, yeah, the meltdown will go. Stocks will go down. Money will be uh, dumped. It will be like something we haven't seen in a very bad ever. I think there'll be, and I tell people, this will be, and I'm going to share the link in the, audio, in the description. Part of me wants to default, part of me don't. Because, you know why? Regular Americans, people that truly need and depend on Social Security benefits, the federal benefits, on the suffer the most. Because poly- watch DC is playing too many political fucking games. Joe Biden needs to be impeached, we know that. They want to keep just printing out, printing out money. Even if we raise the debt limit, 
it's still we're still gonna hit a hit. Inflation's going up. So super fresh gum. We are in a recession already. Sooner or later, it's gonna be a great depression. And we ain't built for the Great Depression like our forefathers did back almost hundred years ago. We ain't built like that. We don't have communities, we don't have family, we don't have nobody to ride the storm out to come together. We hit to that pollution close to Great Depression, this country will be done. The people will burn it to the ground. There'll be nothing left. We are not built for this. But yet keep printing out money, keep printing out money, keep doing the dumb shit. And affecting too many people lives because too many people shouldn't be in power. Too many weak, sorry cowards are in power and about themselves, not by the American people. But this is your boy, the drunken sailor guy. Thank you for joining our video. Hopefully, we'll see you the next couple of days. Will we do they raise the debt li limit or will we come to the final blow of America? This is your boy, drunken sailor guy. Thank you for joining our video. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Let's talk about this because. It's affect all of us, guys, all of us. Thank you for joining, guys. Next video. Take care.